Good morning, Wednesday morning, heading now to Tel Aviv to meet with a stealth startup called This is, I think, the third or fourth attempt to meet. Hopefully it will happen this morning. Then heading to meet my friend Osnat at WeWork again, a rescheduled meeting from last week. After that, lunch with a guy named Ari Gorlin who came via an introduction from an old friend and somewhat of a rock star, Dana Hochstein Mann. Following that, I-24 and then a couple of other meetings. It's a pretty jam-packed day, but an exciting one. Let's do this. Or Yehuda meeting this company, like I said, Stealth, uh, who was introduced to me via Guy Horowitz from Deutsche Telekom Capital. So that's a pretty big intro. Fairly convinced I will not be able to put my camera in, or I definitely won't be able to record. But uh, again, this, this meeting took a long time to set up, so I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't been to Or Yehuda since my meeting at My Heritage, another amazing company in Israel. <laughs> I just ended the meeting with that stealth startup. I didn't realize just how stealth they are. I actually need to delete or edit out the name of the company, which I mentioned before, so Joseph, edit that out, please. Otherwise, they will murder me. But I just got the demo of a lifetime. Honestly, the next generation of computing. Not an, not an exaggeration. I, I, I say mind blown a lot, so that maybe has lost its effect, but my mind is actually blown. A demo like I've never gotten in my life. When I talk about the caliber and the level of Israeli tech, this was a perfect example. Literally the next generation of computing, the next way human beings are going to interact with computers, I just saw. Cannot talk about anything, cannot name the name of the company, cannot say what they're doing, but holy crap. That's all I'm saying. Now off to WeWork. In other news, it is a perfect morning this morning. Absolutely perfect. So my last meeting with Osnad at WeWork was canceled or postponed because of lack of parking. I did find parking in the lot, so that's good news. It is so beautiful today. Tomorrow, I haven't spoken about this yet, but tomorrow is probably the biggest tech event of the year here in Israel, the Our Crowd Summit. I think they're bringing in 10,000 investors from around the world, I think. It's the number that I seem to have in my head. I don't know if that's accurate, but it's gonna be massive. I'll be there all day, so expect a bonkers episode tomorrow. And now I'm walking into WeWork. my friend Osnat and she joined me work recently and she has a present for me. Yes. Whoa. It's a wee bag. I love it. It's a really cool bag. And then we've got some shirts for you. What size did you get? Let's see how much you like me. It's uh, L. Oh. L is okay. You started working out so it's good. And we got this for you. And we got this for you. Love it. We've got all these Take care of me. Of course we do. We care about you. We love you. This is my friend, Osnat. We're going to call her Ozzy. No, we're not. We're going to call her Osnat. It's just, it's one of those Israeli names. Like, it's also an Israeli name, Moran. Like, Moran. And Americans yeah. don't, like, what? Her name is Osnat? Yes, her name is Osnat. Can we just get that out of the way? Call me, call me Ozzy. Call no, me I'd rather Ozzy. call you Osnat. Osnat. I think the yeah. Americans just have to get over it. Whatever. Okay. So, we know each other for a couple of years. Good friends. Marketers. We brainstorm. We talk marketing. Yeah. You know, I, I got to tell you, I knew you were a hotshot before you knew you were a hotshot. But whatever. I'm, I'm just going to put that I was out there. A hot shot. Yeah. Okay. I knew I, you were a hotshot. So she's a little too humble and too modest, but whatever. Meanwhile, someone else recognized her greatness. A small company called WeWork just recruited her. What's your role here? I am a product marketing manager at Technology. You're one of the only very, very few marketers in this country in the WeWork, the WeWork team. How many marketers well, for do you guys the, have? Well, for the WeWork that um, is a technology and digital, uh, I'm the only marketing. The only marketing uh, person. Uh, I told you, we have, we have marketing for Israel. So, right, no, I'm not, I'm not, that's sales. <laughs> that's sales. Yeah, yes. I'm, and I'm marketing, a... you know, they do marketing. Right. Uh, we know somebody right, that is true. marketing. You just joined how long ago? Three months ago. Three months ago. Although it feels much more than that. Well, like, cause uh, they're, cause because they're, they're working. You're working hard. It's a... Uh, it's a true rocket ship, and it's it's a fast-moving company. We're going to talk about that in a second. But first, are, I want to talk no, about you I, a little I, bit. Yeah, okay. not gonna, we, can't, we can't talk numbers. I get it. But, you know, I, I can only say what Adam said when he came to speak. Adam Newman, the CEO of WeWork, came to speak here. He said, officially on stage, he said, we are the fastest-growing real estate company in the world. Yes. Based on, you know, the buildings that they, that they buy, yeah. whatever. I mean, WeWork is, I don't know what to call it. Like, it's an enigma. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a phenomenon. There's nothing like it. Yeah. I, and I want to tell you, I said to you before, I asked Michael Eisenberg, who uh, was invested in WeWork many years ago. I'm like, I don't get it. WeWork, it's just a real estate company. It's like, you just wait. And then I joined WeWork as a member, and now 
now I'm, you know, I'm actively friends and involved with the company, not in an official capacity, but I just love the company. I can tell you that yeah. there is nothing, nothing like it. Anyway, so what's Especially your focus? Especially the people, the people, people in the company. High are amazing, level. very high level. And the core of the company is about making the members happy. So I think that's, that's a lot of the... Speaking of, we're going to talk about all this. We're, yeah. we're going to make it quick. Don't worry, I'm not taking too long of your time. I know you're busy, right. but I just want to say one thing. <laughs> Speaking of people, yeah. What is with the shopping spree? You guys are recruiting all the top talent in the whole country. I'm, I'm not the person. It's unbelievable. About that. Yeah. So many amazing people. Amazing Ron Gura and Balor Paz and Alon oh, Carmel. Oh, the people that are joining. Yeah, the people yes. you're recruiting. Yes. Oh yeah. Amazing. Amazing. That's the that's. Angie the just that's joined. Me. She just announced it. I think today or yesterday she just oh, she announced, announced it yeah. already. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's like, good. Unbelievable We're people. We're soon and um, amazing people. They're just. You're right. You know, I think for for talent. I think so. It's, it's a funny story. Then I'm, we're gonna move on. But it's a funny story. Like I don't know. Was it two three months ago? We're sitting on a bench in the streets of Tel Aviv, just hanging out. Right? I was sitting with Angie. So I was sitting with you and Angie. You came were sitting over with me, and then Angie came. Right. I was sitting with I was sitting yeah. with you. We were just moving, catching up, whatever. And then yeah. Angie walked by, and then I introduced them. This was what was it, three months ago? Four, four months ago? Uh, three months ago. Yeah. And then, exactly. It was the week that I joined. So since then, both you guys joined WeWork. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, both you were sitting with me, and then you just both joined. I mean, I call it coincidence. I'm not so sure. When they told me that Angie joined, I was like, what? <laughs> Unbelievable. We just okay. Met two so ago, yeah. let's talk about whatever I know is everything's confidential. You guys are again probably the hottest company in tech right now, or one of them. Just just give me high-level stuff that you're allowed to talk about. What's the strategy here that you know of in terms of your scope in the company? What can you tell me that, about the work that you're doing or anything that's allowed to be well, spoken I, about? I can't say a lot and not I'm not representing the company, right? Of course. It's not a Full disclaimer. Disclaimer. Full Joseph, disclaimer. put a disclaimer there. But I can say that it's work. all about the, the, the best member experience and that goes to everything from physical to digital to emotional. You know, emotional to everything that is about experience and, and the best member experience that somebody can have and, and that's the competitive advantage. 100%. I, I There's think. a lot of co-working spaces out there and I wouldn't even call this a co-working space. That's the truth, but the execution. It's, yeah. Like you were telling me, everything's meticulous. It's a lifestyle. Scientific, I like that. And I'm gonna tell you that from day one, when Benji Singer, uh, I met with him and he's like, I'm bringing WeWork to Israel. And I was like, he showed me the, like a skeleton of a building. He's like, we're gonna open here in four weeks. I'm like, Benji, what are you smoking? Like, there's nothing here. There's no way you can yeah. open a WeWork. Four weeks later, to the day, boom, he yeah, opened it. Yeah. There's something about the way this company executes that makes it yeah. unique. Um, it became and, like a science, really, like opening the buildings. You know, you know, I know in addition to everything else, like this company's made it like to the mainstream when everybody else tries to align with WeWork. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Uber, we're the Uber up. We were the we, you know, we work. It's like here, and everybody else is trying. It's unbelievable to watch it. I got to tell you on a personal level, and then we're gonna shut this up because we have to talk about. I am so happy for you. You deserve it. No, you're all. You've been I'm hustling. Happy, happy. I'm happy. You're happy. I'm happy. Well, you, you, you introduced me to Ron. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You introduced me to Ron, and that's how I. That was one of the. Okay, ways I made an introduction. That I but you're the rock star that got the job, so whatever. But I'm just saying one thing. Like you've been hustling. You've been working your butt off for a long time. Like a good decade. How long have you worked that? More than a decade. I've been what? Like in marketing? Yeah. Since like '99. It's uh, like uh, yeah. A long time. Wow, it's impressive. Yeah. You've been hustling, and you know, I, like, I, when I you see do. people, yeah. yeah, but you're different. When I see people like you working so hard, hustling. and then you get a break, it makes me very happy. So I'm really happy for you. Keep kicking butt, and just um, you landed in like the best place you could possibly land. So yep. congrats on that. I'm going to turn yeah. this off. You can sit down and uh, <laughs> tell me some stuff that you're not allowed to talk about on camera. You see, you walk around in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and you bump into like legends just walking around like they're normal people. This guy, yeah. Amir Pinchas, who are you, man? I'm uh, leading the operations team. Uh, What's your name? I'm Amir. Okay, Amir Pinchas. Amir Pinchas. The Amir Pinchas. Like, the yeah, the Amir one, Pinchas, the yeah. one and only. What do you do? Well, so I'm leading the operations team for Microsoft for Startup globally. First of all, I just read that Zach is moving on. Yeah. Holy True. hell, man, that's awesome. True. I guess it's, it's confidential what he's doing next, so I'm not gonna ask you. I don't know. You don't I don't know. think he knows. It's that confidential. <laughs> all right, Amir, Amir's an old friend. You led the, or you were part of the investment in part of the investment. Microsoft Ventures and yeah. my old, old startup. Yeah. That's awesome. Big, big fan. We need to catch up. Dude. We haven't had stake in a long time. Yeah. It's not okay, dude. Not okay. Yeah, it's not cool. Not at all. Not cool. I still have your Microsoft Ventures cool hat at home, by the way. Yeah. Cool. Go work. Go work. I don't want to disturb you. We'll talk later, man. Let's see you, bro. Cheers. Take care, man. And it's a What up? Next meeting, Ari Gorlin, right here, behind me. I was super late to his meeting, looking for parking for an hour. I'm so sorry, man. All right, let's go inside. Into Mitos. Made it to Jaffa going live on I-24 in 10 minutes, speaking about Facebook and their crypto ad ban, Elon Musk and his flamethrowers, and Google completing their acquisition of HTC. But before I go on TV, I gotta show you the view here in Jaffa, because it is remarkable. Both the water and the people look closely. So off 
often when I go on I-24, I go on to talk news, but I also bring a startup with me. And today, today we got Intelligo, Shlomo, and Ari. Shlomo's coming on with me on I-24 to talk about the future of AI, the future of background checks, and the intersection of the two, a.k.a. Intelligo. Go check out Intelligo.ai. I'm an advisor. The one and only, getting her makeup did. That's What's going right. on? Getting my makeup done. Hills fold, hills fold. I like it, I like it. Look at this. Not only are you mastering the selfie with a real camera, you know but you is? also got the you also have the focus down with the selfie. That's what I'm talking about. Do you know what this is that I'm wearing right now? Haha, <laughs> you ready for the flamethrower? See Good, that? I'm you could explain because I've had to do this story now for two days and I still don't get it. Is it a hoax or is No, it's it... not a hoax. It's called Elon Musk is a brilliant genius He's at marketing. A genius. And he could sell anything to anyone. That's all. You know how much this hat costs? I didn't pay for it. It was a present. This is one of so did you uh so now did his company because of this. I know, and he made how many, how much money on the uh, flamethrower? I think five million. Five million? Five million dollars? Five, yeah, I think five million dollars on the flamethrower. <laughs> We're getting our makeup did. He's getting his makeup did. All right, come on. Hey, what my makeup? He's really neglected here. You're taking care of Shlomo, nothing with me. There you go. We have a good time here at I-24. All right, we're going in. Okay, would you guys pump him up a little bit? This is his first live. Is your first live? First, yeah, live first. first live TV appearance for Shlomo, CEO. First and hopefully not last. Intel <laughs> Definitely not last. But uh, yeah, I mean, this guy's basically disrupting. I hate that word, disrupting, but he's revolution. I hate that word too. Changing. Changing sorry. the background check space using AI, machine learning, and all the other buzzwords you can imagine. You're going to do good, man. No, no nervousness. It doesn't work. All right, here we go. We're going on in two minutes. All right, our next guest is on the cutting edge of the future of Israeli security innovations, including uh, using our artificial intelligence and uh, an augmented reality, right? Joining us live is Shlomo Mirvis, CEO of Intelligo. Did I mess that up? I, no, it's, it's just all AI. I, all I, and we have Hillel here, who uh, they're long lost friends. Hillel has uh, been a mentor of your company. He, he chooses right. wisely. So An amazing who, one, by the way. Yes, he is. Look at, look at this. Look <laughs> at, I think Hillel's blushing under the beard. Everyone's going to make fun of us because every time I comment on his clothes, <laughs> so, all right, so let's get to Intelligo. Please explain to us lay people what, what this means. What kind of security are we talking? Sure. So in the world of background checks, I mean, we already know that the world of artificial intelligence changed the world. It made it, it, made it much more efficient, much more fast and everything. Then came to Apple and said, efficiency is not enough. We have to make things cool, intuitive, very simple. And we want to believe we are Apple of the background check world. What does that mean? We took the, the world of background checks. It's a very traditional world today that hardly changed the last 40 years. And we made it an Apple. What, and we made it much more efficient, faster, user-friendly, and simple. If today you run a background check on somebody and something happened the day afterwards, you probably won't know about it for at least a year until you annual review. Mm -hmm. So we came up with the concept of ongoing due diligence, a tool that will monitor individuals and later on also companies, and will provide you live, unique alerts about this person if anything happens. We talked about AI many times in the past. AI is one of those technologies that exists. I feel like many people are trying to figure out how to use it, how to leverage it. Here we're talking about a technology that uses the most advanced AI and machine learning to make our world safer, period, right? You know if someone has bankruptcies in their past, if they have harassment cases in their past, if they've been sued, like that. Right. Usually it would take weeks. It, you get a file this big, it takes you three weeks, just read it. In an hour you have everything you need to know about a person to hire them, not to hire them, to invest, not to invest. It's amazing. Cryptocurrency, ICOs, blockchain, all the buzzwords. Um, you know, like every new technology, it's being abused by some people. And let's just say it as, the, as it is, there are a lot of scams in the ICO world. Facebook is, you know, under a lot of pressure with fake news and all that jazz. They're saying we're not going to have any of this stuff. And they went ac across the board and banned all ads that have to do with uh, blockchain. Not sorry, blo not blockchain. Crypto and ICOs. Mm -hmm. Which... I guess it depends how you look at it. If you're a legit crypto company, you're like, what? You know, I, that was my biggest growth engine, Facebook, mm -hmm. and now it's banned completely. You are one of the, uh, the few yes. that got the boring hat. So you saw his message. Yes. You so, saw his message and you bought the hat. So this means you're allowed to have a flamethrower? Is no, this so, the deal? I didn't buy the hat. A CEO and is it a hoax? It I'm confused. It's not a hoax. So Elon Musk, you know, Elon Musk is somewhat of an enigma phenomenon. I don't know. The guy like, will tweet that you got to buy his whatever, and everyone goes out and buys it. So he, <laughs> you know, like you said, I saw it in the beginning. I was like, what is going on? Is this for real? But it's for real. And he's literally um, funding his the boring company he's got SpaceX he's got Tesla so he came up with this new company called it the boring company where he's digging on the ground and boring and all that and he's funding it with these, like outrageous ideas like this hat which he sold and raised a lot of money and uh, I didn't buy it I have to say a, a friend of mine a CEO of Fitness 22 gave it to me just as a, a present which was awesome um, but now his new thing is these flamethrowers which 
it's so much media attention now it's being banned in some some well, states. Well, then the Instagram said don't buy it, yeah. so they didn't know if it was real. And like seven and a half million dollars raised in like three days. Obviously, Google and Apple are the big players now. Apple makes hardware, right, yep. and software. Google says no, we'll just make Android. Seems that they're changing their kind of voice now, and they're saying, wait a second, let's build their own hardware. They have the Nexus, they have the Pixel. They just bought a major part of HTC, which means they're going to have their own hardware now, literally in-house. They spent $1.1 billion, they just completed, and uh, I think it's going to change the entire industry, because Google has like 80%, or I don't know what percent, a massive percent of the market market share. So when they have their own hardware, they can literally compete head-to-head -head with Apple. Where so, is it going to stop? Like, they deal. all have to do one step, one step, one yeah, step, one step, one step. All right, thank you. Thank you. What do we think? What do we think? I was. Great experience. Thank you very Jeez. much. Emily's a rock star, right? Yeah. Emily's the greatest. We, it was good. Go watch it on I-24. First of many. So now I can say I don't want this to be the last one. That's a great, great achievement by itself. Yeah, well, it was a great time. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun today. A lot of good giggles. It's good. It was a good day. A lot of traffic on the way home. I finally made it home. The sun is beginning to set over there. Kind of awesome. Anyway, tomorrow's our crowd. It's going to be a crazy day. I'll be shocked if tomorrow's conference doesn't generate at least two vlog episodes. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. See you tomorrow.